most powerful bankers in America came together for a meeting yesterday and began to work out how to regain the right to do exactly what they did when they crashed the economy in the late summer of 2008 so that America's biggest banks can undercut the Obama administration's new Wall Street rules and get right back in there and restart that risky trading and speculating which they so spectacularly suck. Our fourth story tonight, the chief lobbyist for Wall Street banks and financial firms put it this way, quote, our focus here is to help. Reuters reports that James Gorman, the chief executive of Morgan Stanley, complained about, quote, rhetoric aimed at Wall Street and speaking to the public just days after angry Americans voted against bank bailouts, said the banks need more time to recover. Quote, it's only two years on. You need a little bit of patience to rebuild, to accumulate the capital you need which is weird because bonuses are up from last year. Morgan Stanley, not the only company that belongs to SIFMA, the Securities Industry and Financial Markets Association. Other members include J.P. Morgan Chase, Goldman Sachs, Back of America. You get the idea. So what is it that SIFMA wants to help with? Turns out the same thing the Republicans want. As we reported last week, the day after the election, expected new Financial Services Committee Chairman Spencer Backus wrote to bank regulators urging weak enforcement of the Volcker Rule, which keeps banks out of the risky business that sank some of them and us last time. Among those practices, proprietary trading, banks gambling not just with your money but with their own, giving them a conflict of interest. SIFMA, too, is very interested in the Volcker Rule's effect on proprietary trading. Here's the full quote from SIFMA President Tim Ryan. Our focus here is to help Treasury determine what quality qualifies as proprietary trading. Mother Jones magazine reports SIFMA last week asked bank regulators to do a study of the Volcker rule as soon as the first study they asked for is done. And if you think it's only Republicans like Bacchus doing Wall Street's bidding, Democratic Senator Jim Webb tells Real Clear Politics he pushed for a vote on a one-time tax on Wall Street's bailout windfall bonuses. He failed, quote, I got so much froth from Democrats saying that any vote like that was going to screw up fundraising. With us tonight on this, documentary filmmaker Michael Moore, whose works include Capitalism, A Love Story. Good to see you, Michael. Well, good to see you. And, uh, and just, just a little advice for you next time. Form yourself into a corporation. Exactly. Then you can like give to whoever as much as you want. Nobody cares. And if your bosses have a problem with it, they can just take it up with Scalia. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But welcome back. Thank you kindly. And thank you for your help in that. Uh, to this larger thing. Yes. The Volcker Rule. Why is it so important? Um, well, it's, first of all, I just have to say that it's, it's so funny that, um, that, that, that President Obama did everything that uh, capitalism and Wall Street would have wanted him to do. He mm -hmm. voted for the bailout. He, um, he, he put their boys in charge, uh, Geithner and, and, and Summers. Um, he uh, did the thing with the auto companies, gave them money, did everything mm -hmm. that they would, would have wanted him to do. <laughs> and their appreciation of it is to then fund candidates to remove Democrats from the House after essentially he saved their ass. Right. Um, it's it's so ironic, and and it's the other irony to this is that Volcker, Paul Volcker, if younger people may not remember, he was Ronald Reagan's guy. Yeah. Okay. So he's now considered the lefty. Yes. Of course. He is. <laughs> by Wall Street, and I I just think that this is what is so absolutely outrageous about this that they now want to lighten up on the Volcker or lighten up on these things mm -hmm. don't 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 attack us so much are you kidding me after what you did to this economy after let's again again short memory span let's yes. just remind people what they did was they they encouraged all of their bank officers and loan officers to give uh, uh, loans mortgages uh, that they shouldn't have been granting right. Okay, then they resold those, they bundled them up and sold them off to make money off it, and then they took bets against those mortgages that they knew were going to collapse so they could make even more money. Mm -hmm. And then after the House of Cards came down, they wanted you and I to pay for it, and, and they're, it just... The fact that they are even asking for this when they should be in prison. Yes. This is what I, I mean, seriously, are you, I, I just, I. <laughs> well, this is the greatness of, 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 of capitalism. This is it. It's like, oh, we have all the money, print some more. We don't have enough all yeah, the money. Yeah, but, and, but and let me kick you in the face while I'm doing it. Right, and, and, it, and then charge you for it, using my boot. Exactly. <laughs> is it possible that we're, that we're going to see Roger Clemens in prison? 
before any of the people that created the crash of this? I well, mean, a guy who, I mean, seriously, yes. there's, yes, yes, yes. That's yes. The answer. He will go to, he will go but, somewhere, but these guys to won't. To make this not look like a Republican thing only, the Jim Webb claim that yes. Democrats refused to tax Wall Street bonuses because it would hurt Democratic fundraising. Do you buy that? Yeah, absolutely, sure. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Well, I mean, let's, I mean, President Obama's number one private contributor were the the PACs and the people connected to Goldman mm -hmm. Sachs. Yeah, I mean that's the, that's the that's just just the fact, and so that's uh, that's why I think he was very much in their corner. He was very much willing to do carry the water for them, so to speak, and and he, he got rewarded with that last Tuesday. I hope he comes back from this now and he just goes, okay, that's enough, boys. Enough. Uh, we're going to take you on now. All right. Finally, later on, we're going to yeah. go through what's been what's been miss, missed in the Bush autobiography. But you're in it. You want a chance to, to respond to what you're what, what he's got you in there? <laughs> it was craziness. Uh, yeah. The, 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 well, first of all, great to see President Bush back. Uh, you know, it's yeah. again the short attention span. We miss it. We 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 actually needed him a couple of weeks ago to remind ourselves who was responsible for these two wars, mm -hmm. who was responsible for this crash on Wall Street, mm -hmm. who created this mess that our grandchildren will be cleaning up. Nice to see him back. Um, I wish the NBC itself um, had a little more uh, balance and and a little more. I, I mean, I just I mean, I'm just not that I'm taking this personally, but I. <laughs> but I mean, that what he's but he trashes me in his book and he re makes a reference between Osama bin Laden and myself. Yeah. I mean, that just shows how insane and crazy these Republicans are and have gotten. And and uh, the, you know, I, I mean, I made a film. This is what upset him. Mm -hmm. I made a film and I showed how he sat there for seven minutes right. after he. He was told the the nation is under attack, and then he just sits there reading my pet goat. Mm -hmm. They needed to know how it turned out. And uh, and and uh, and the other things I pointed out in the film in terms of his connections to how this war happened and how they were he and Halliburton and the others were going to make money mm -hmm. from it. Um, I would love it actually if if, if my plea if, if uh, Mr. Uh, Imalt or anyone who's watching here at GE mm -hmm. if they would if they I will give them for free Fahrenheit 9/11 wow. to run on NBC wow. as as balance yeah. to to all this publicity that they've been giving uh, President Bush this week and his answers about how uh, you know the worst thing that happened to him was Kanye West and and all these I hope we never forget what this man did uh, parents tonight. Uh, thousands of them sit at home, their their children no longer with them yep. because of a war that was essentially a lie. So <sighs> that's my answer to Mr. Bush. A hell of an answer it is. Uh, Michael Moore, uh, it's a pleasure to have you back. Thank well, you it's uh, nice that you're still here. Please don't <laughs> leave. <laughs> Good to see you, my friend. Wish I were in the book.